Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, to say I'm excited about my next review would be a, a big understatement. <laughs> I've been asked by a company called Lion Energy to review their Lion Safari UT lithium iron phosphate battery for the RV. So this thing is basically a drop-in plug-and-play type replacement for your RV batteries. And I'm going to be replacing my four lead acid. If you've watched my channel, you know I have four interstate big golf cart batteries in there, big heavy ones. And I've used them for a number of years. So I'm really excited to, to test out this lithium technology. Um, a lot of people have already converted. Um, I had kind of decided not to convert because my lead acids were working, but this company called Lion Energy contacted me and offered me uh, samples for review. Um, so you know, I just had to take them up on it. Uh, I kind of kind of like the company. They're based out of Utah, at least as far as their manual says. And I've had a good vibe from talking with the, the people there, corresponding about doing the review. So I'm quite happy with that. But disclaimer up front, they're, they're, they gave me these batteries to review. Um, so I'm replacing the four golf cart batteries with three of the, the Lion Energy batteries. Um, the big big features that really got me excited, there was a number of features, but uh, number one was uh, was the they have a lifetime warranty to them. So that's really good. Um, they Supposedly this battery can last over 3,500 cycles. So the guy was telling me, you know, I use my battery about six months of the year when I'm boondocking. So he says that would last me 26 years. But they do on their website uh, state a lifetime warranty. So that's nice because they're not cheap right now. Uh, listed on their website, they're $999 each. And that's a 100, or, yeah, 100 amp hour battery at 12 volts. So you get, uh, what's it got here, 1200 watt hours. This battery also is uh, really good at putting out high current um, you can see it's listed here at 150 amps, and that's continuous amps. So you can be drawing 150 amp load, and that's enough to, to run like a, a microwave, stuff like that. No problem with this battery. But they also use this battery, he was telling me, a lot for what's called a dump trailer, which really puts a high demand of current on the battery. So the battery can handle a 900 amp spike, and it can do 250 amps for one minute. So that's why it's it's been really good for that application. So these should be able to, to handle any load in the RV, no problem at all. Um, also, I like the size. It's uh, what they call a Group 24 size. So it's a pretty small footprint in a battery. And also, it is 20.9 pounds. So it's super light. I, I thought when I got it, is this the battery for sure? Because, <laughs> you know, I could just lift that up and swing it around. My golf cart batteries, four of them, they each weigh over 60 pounds, I think 62 pounds or 65 pounds. So, you know, by replacing four of those with three of these, the three of these will equal the weight of just one of my golf cart batteries. So I'm going to be saving a lot of weight there. Um, what else do we got here? It'll hold a charge for two years. It's zero maintenance. There's no maintenance to be done at all. So, and also the technology from what I've been boning up on, the lithium iron phosphate is a very safe technology. It's not the, the type of lithium that's going to be a, a fire threat. Also being self-contained plug and play, um, you'll see a lot of uh, videos on YouTube with DIY guys building, building their banks and they're messing around with what's called a BMS or battery management system. Um, that's all built into these batteries. So. It's got low voltage protection, high voltage protection, um, temperature protection if it gets too cold or too hot. Everything will shut itself down. Um, neat feature of this is it's got a little uh, readout for uh, how charged the battery is from 20, 40, 60, 80 percent. So that's really cool. The lugs are pretty interesting. I don't like them. They're pretty good. This could screw off there like that. You can put your uh, lugs in there or they also came with a uh, 
little set of wing nuts too. You put a little wing nut so you can put your your main your main lug under there, and then you know attach accessories. So case looks pretty good. I really like the the marketing they've done. All the branding looks really good, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put this through a a good review. First thing I'm going to do with it is do the installation. So you'll be able to see what, how I mesh it into my uh, my existing system, um, solar system and charge converters. Uh, these need a, a specific charge voltage. So I'm going to have a chat with their engineer and make sure I got everything I need and hook it up the proper way and then share that with you guys because I don't know a huge amount about lithium technology. Um, I really know a lot about my lead acid ones over the years, but lithium's kind of new to me. But there's a lot out there, so I've been really boning out up on it. But uh, I'll have a talk with their engineer and make sure I got all the, the information I need to hook it up. So there you go. I just wanted to do a quick video to let you know of this upcoming review. And also to get any questions from you. If you have any questions about it that you want answered, uh, put them in the, the comments below. And then in the, the next videos, I can answer the questions for you because I'm going to be doing several different videos on this. We're doing an install video and then we'll do some maybe testing videos, uh, loading them down and such. And then I'll, I'll be doing a full review video as well, um, see how, how it performs and everything. So till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers, everyone.